Welcome back, everyone, to the weekly recap, this time for week three of the PUBG Mobile Pro League America Season 2. Now, let's take a look at our overall settings right away because we've had a little bit of a mix-up, but more importantly, we've had Team Queso just lay the smack down against G25 and securely take that first place position. 498 points, two away from 500 and they have proved to be the best team in Argentina. So as G25 has continued to slip down, Alpha 7 has been slowly climbing up, as well as Loops actually able to finally move up into sixth place, but still, a chicken dinner does elude them. Maybe eventually this week, going into week four, they'll be able to pull one off. But as you're also noticing, Where's the NA teams? It's only Tempo and Wildcard, and the rest of the placings are all going to be South American teams. So maybe, just maybe, if we look at the second page, we're going to find the rest of those North American teams. And you're going to see, well, Brazilian Rampage, obviously not a North American team, but they have shot up in the rankings, considering their best placing before was around 16th place at the end of Week 2. And then we see Xset securing firmly in 10th place. But as you look down the rest of the rankings here, I want you to notice how little points actually separate these teams. One chicken dinner can bounce you from 16th place for the unnamed, potentially into 9th, depending on how many kills you can get. So everything is extremely close at the moment. No one is set in stone except the teams on the first page. But as we look at now the third page, we're going to see the team still fighting for their competition, fighting for their chance to make it into the finals. we got Influence Rage slowing down on kills this week, but still netting themselves a 17th place finish at the moment. Whereas we have had Pittsburgh Knights with three chicken dinners. They unfortunately have fallen down the rankings. So has BDM over the course of this week. And I thought, I felt deep in my loins that defeaters could somehow make the front back and get themselves out of the bottom place. But after a stellar performance at the end of week two and the start of week three, they unfortunately find themselves in very last place at 175 points. They have around 85 points to potentially even jump into a 17th place position. But that's going to be extremely difficult, as we saw in this week alone. But now I want to talk about, obviously, our top players. And we've had Papito be number one in week one. We've had Ayala as well maintain a first place position. And he's going to do it yet again. Look at this. 73 kills for him. Axel on 72. Natsumi on 65. And then finally, we get to someone else besides Team Queso. And it's going to be Papito in fourth place with 62. You even got Carrillo, the silent killer, which is definitely loaded up to the first part of the name there so far within the tournament as he's in fifth place. Itzlox falling down to six. But we even see Marco at the start of our last day of week three, he didn't even show up on this first page. So we finally have all four players from Team Kesa make it into our top players by kills. But who knows what's going to happen? We still have our fourth week ahead of us. And of course, the finals, which will span across four days with five games a day. But keep in mind, during week four, our first two days will just be four matches a day. And then our last two days will be five. So teams have even less games to play now. But let's see what's going to happen as we kick off week four right around the corner.